Today I'm going to show you how to make a model of the Coca-Cola lorry. It looks fantastic and makes a great Christmas decoration. We're going to need 12 empty Coke cans, 11 plastic bottle tops, 4 kebab skewers and a tube of super glue. First we're going to use a knife and a pair of scissors to cut off the top and bottom of all our cans and turn them into a flat sheet of tin. Be very careful not to cut yourself. You should be able to cut them to a size of 9 by 21 centimetres. Then take the curl out of the tin by running it backwards over the table edge until it's pretty much flat like this. Then using a marker pen and a ruler we're going to mark out the templates for each part of the lorry. Once we've finished drawing out the templates we're ready to start cutting them out with our scissors. Then using a straight edge we need to fold over the tabs and bend the tin into shape. This piece is going to form the bonnet windscreen and roof of the cab. Next using a drawing pin we need to pierce a line of holes along the edge of our template approximately half a centimetre apart. Do the same with the side pieces and pierce through the holes for the axles as well. You should end up with a small pile like this to make the cab. Next, using our super glue, we're going to stick the sides to the bonnet windscreen and roof section. Then glue on the grill. Use sellotape to hold it all in place while the glue dries. Next, take the wheel arch, curl it into shape, bend over the tabs and glue it into place. Do the same on the other side and we should now have something which looks like this. Starting to look pretty cool, eh? Next, glue the lorry base into position along the bottom edge of the cab and then add the back panel. Then using a kebab skewer we're going to pierce through the holes for our axles to make them the right size. Next we need to cool the tin for our exhaust by wrapping it around a pen and a kebab skewer. Pierce in some cooling holes with a pin and glue the pieces together. Then fix to the cab. And finally glue a bottle top at the back of the lorry base for towing the trailer. Apart from the wheels that's the cab finished. Next we're going to cut out and fold all of the pieces for the trailer, piercing holes along the edges and in four lines along the top. It should look like this. Once we've got all of the pieces it's time to start gluing them together. Start with the top and sides, followed by the front and back, then add the base. Then we need to take our axle runners, pierce holes for the wheels, fold them and glue them onto the base. We'll also add the side rails now. Next we need to fold over our bumper unit, stick it together and glue it into place. And finally add the towing hitch at the front. The cab and trailer are now complete and all we need to do is add the wheels. Take a bottle top and pierce a hole straight through the middle with a pin, then push through a small screwdriver to make the hole a bit bigger. Next thread one onto your kebab skewer, push the axle through the holes in your truck, cut it to length and add the other wheel. Do all the cab and trailer wheels, then cut out some wheel covers and fit them in place. Attach the trailer and the model is now complete. To make it light up, put inside some LED key rings and dim the lights. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, if you want to see others click on the links on the right hand side. The top link will take you to the plans for building this model. I'm going to go and brush my teeth after drinking all that coke. Thanks for watching.